Hello everybody, welcome to SourceFed. My name is Joe Beretta and this is Today in History. September 5th in history, Chief Crazy Horse is bayoneted and killed in 1877. The first session of the Continental Congress convenes to draft a Declaration of Rights in 1774. And Gerald Ford survives an assassination attempt in 1975. But in 1972, there would be an act of violence that would mar Olympic history forever when six members of the Arab terrorist group Black September break into the Olympic Village in Munich, Germany and launch an attack on the athletes from Israel. At 4.30 in the morning, six men wearing tracksuits jumped the fence surrounding the Olympic housing facility carrying weapon-filled bags. They broke into the apartment of the Israeli wrestling team, which in normal circumstances is a terrible idea, but the heavily armed men managed to get an edge on the apartment's sleeping occupants. Taking nine hostages made up of Israeli wrestlers and weightlifters, the Black September members demanded the release of 234 prisoners, most of which were Arab terrorists. While the release demands were refused, it was negotiated that the terrorists and hostages would be taken to the airport by helicopter and given a plane. At the airport, the German government planned and executed an ambush in hopes of rescuing the Israeli hostages. Three terrorists were picked off, but the others were able to hide out of range. One one throwing a grenade into the helicopter, still holding five hostages, killing all of them. The other terrorist fired his machine gun into another helicopter, killing the remaining hostages. The massacre resulted in the deaths of 11 Israeli athletes, five Palestinian terrorists, and one German police official. The remaining three terrorists were imprisoned, but set free one month later when another group of terrorists hijacked a plane and demanded their release. The event prompted Israel's retaliation of bombing Syria and Lebanon, and would go down as the bloodiest incident in Olympic history. And that's what happened today in history. Happy birthday.